Hello music techie people. Today we're going to look at the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 which is basically just a really small compact uh, interface. Uh, this is 2 in 2 out. That's what the uh, 2i2 stands for. So I'm just going to show you some of the basic features. We'll listen to some of the uh, preamps that it's got which absolutely sound fantastic and then I'll show you in action um, and basically what it can do. So the Scarlet comes with this really really funky uh, monitor feature so we've got this there as you can hear which allows us to control the level that's going to the speakers we've got this really handy uh, headphone output and I've got my uh, adapter in so I can plug that to a, a mini jack We've also got phantom power, 48 volts, and this direct monitoring, monitoring switch here, which basically allows you to switch from hearing the signal as it's been sent to, the, uh, to your computer or before it gets sent when you're recording stuff. Then over, um, over here on the input section, you've got this multi-input jack or XLR, okay? You've got your line or instrument switch, and uh, your gain functions okay and these have these really really funky uh, LED backlit lights that allow, allow you to see when you're when you're clipping on the back of the Scarlet really really simple really really compact you've got the uh, USB 2 um, output for the interface so you can plug it into your computer and it interacts with pretty much any software I've got it with logic at the minute and then just these two jack outputs. It has to be jack, unfortunately, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. This can be balanced or unbalanced, okay? And I've got mine going all the way across here into my Mackie 402, and it comes into this, and then I can raise the monitor level. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll just have a look and uh, see it in action with an uh, electric guitar. Okay, so what I've got here, I'm going to uh, test out the preamps and basically just the input of the uh, 2i2 interface. I've got it going, I've got my guitar going into the uh, boss distortion pedal and then the output of that going into my first track on the focus right. And I'm going to show you these uh, really, really useful funky lights that come with uh, the 2i2. And they're just basically to uh, give you an indication of level, input level. So as you can see there, I've got really low level, so the light's green. And as I bring that up, they do change colours going from orange into the red when it starts to clip. Okay, so if I put my... Uh, distortion pedal on and just get a basic level and all I'm doing is watching uh, the level on here on the uh, the inputs and then also the level on logic and just making sure that I don't get any clip in playing the loudest parts of the song I'm just bringing this down bringing it down as I need to so I'll just just have a quick play and test that level Okay, so that's nice, fantastic. Everything stays in the green, so it's a nice, sort of even uh, input. So fantastic, and I'm ready to record. So, uh, in our final part of the review of the uh, Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, I'm going to look at the uh, plug-in suite that comes in free with the uh, with the hardware. And basically, you get four plugins. That's a compressor, an EQ, a gate, and a reverb. So let's just have a quick look at the compressor. It's really, really tidy, reflects the, um, the metal and the, uh, the aluminium chassis of the uh, 2i2. So you've got that red look here, which looks really, really cool. As a plug-in goes, I quite like it as a compressor. It's really, really simple. You've got these nice big buttons. You've also got these um, needles that show the input and output level and they look quite authentic like real mechanical uh, needles moving up and down on the DB 
Um, let's just have a quick listen to it. I've got it on an electric guitar here. It sounds quite um, quite full. Um, I really like how the, the ratio is working with it and it's sort of really compressing the guitar. So if you have a quick listen. Yeah, so you can hear there that it's really sort of compressing those transients. In addition to the compressor, you get the EQ, which is a parametric EQ, um, split into four bands. So you've got your low, low mid, high mid, and high. Uh, just a frequency and a gain slope to control that. You've also got another form of dynamic uh, control, which is a gate. Um, the, again, really, really good. Um, I must admit that I do prefer using the logic gate to this one but yeah as a as a standalone plugin that comes in free with the software with the hardware so it's just fantastic and then the reverb uh, really really simple just four big knobs that you mess around with reflecting the size the pre-filter the air which is sort of uh, the ambience that you're getting and basically how much you want to send to the overall mix this sounds really good. Um, again, I'm not sure how often I would use it as compared to the compressor, which is by far out of the four, I think the best. Um, but the suite together with absolutely everything is just fantastic. Um, and it's just a great little thing that comes with the, uh, the hardware.